Bihar's new teacher transfer policy sparks opposition. Delhi University unveils bold initiatives for future growth. IIM Lucknow achieves record summer placements with 576 offers. Kit World School wins Best K-12 School of the Year Award 2024. CBSE Class 10, 12 practical exams for winter-bound schools start November. Good afternoon, warm welcome, you are watching the Education News Network, where you get the latest developments in education at the top of the hour. This is Nirmala reporting from the Education News Network. Today's stories are. Keith World School has proudly received the Best K-12 School of the Year Award for 2024, presented by PPR Marketing Group and Plugin PR. The award ceremony took place on Monday, with esteemed actor Rakesh Bedi handing over the accolade. This significant honor recognizes the hard work and commitment of the entire school community, highlighting the exceptional leadership of Principal Dr. Neelima Kamra. Congratulations to everyone involved in this remarkable achievement. The Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSE, has announced that practical exams for classes 10 and 12 in winter-bound schools will occur from November 5 to December 5, 2024. This scheduling is necessary as these schools will be closed in January 2025. For other schools, practical exams are set for January 1, 2025. Schools must prepare a final list of candidates, ensuring only those registered in the online list of candidates, LOC, can participate. They are also required to contact the regional office for external examiners and ensure timely completion of assessments, along with the dispatch of answer books to regional offices. Detailed SOPs and guidelines have been provided for the process. Delhi University has announced a series of ambitious initiatives to enhance campus life and promote sustainability. Key plans include launching its satellite for scientific research and telecommunications, implementing a policy for electric vehicles only, and introducing a free lunch scheme for underprivileged students. This is part of the university's Institutional Development Plan, IDP, 2024. The free lunch initiative will offer meals in exchange for work, ensuring food safety through collaborations with self-help groups. Additionally, DO plans to establish a University Heart for student-led startups and create a University Alumni Angel Network for mentorship and financial support. The Academic Council has approved this comprehensive development strategy, signaling a transformative vision for the university. IIM Lucknow has successfully concluded its summer placement process for the 2024-2026 batch, securing 576 offers for its postgraduate program, PGP, and agribusiness management students. The average stipend was 1.43 lakh rupees per month, with the highest domestic stipend reaching as 3.95 lakhs and international offers peaking at 1.75 lakh rupees. Professor Priyanka Sharma praised the achievements despite economic challenges, crediting the institute's unique curriculum and strong alumni network for attracting top recruiters. The diverse cohort included 234 freshers and 342 experienced professionals, securing roles across various sectors. New Companies like eBay and Paytm Money joined legacy recruiters like McKinsey and Goldman Sachs. The hybrid placement model ensured flexibility for all participants. And the Bihar government has introduced a new transfer policy for government school teachers, prioritizing those with serious health issues and disabilities. Education Minister Sunil Kumar stated that transfer applications must now be submitted online, emphasizing uniformity and improved educational quality. Key features include mandatory transfers every five years and a cap on female teachers at 70% in schools. However, the policy has met resistance from the teachers' union, which argues the requirement for local transfers is impractical and criticizes the removal of provisions allowing female teachers flexibility in work locations. The union demands a reconsideration of the policy, highlighting its restrictive nature and the diverse needs of educators. The government's response remains uncertain. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, log on to our website www.educationnewsnetwork. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.